For today's video, I'm testing on a product that was not requested by viewers. This one was requested by ChatGPT. What I did was go in there and I fed it a bunch of past reviews I've done and asked it for suggestions of future reviews to do. And the one I'm doing today is the one I came up with, and that is a waffle cone maker for ice cream. I've never had requests for that before and I've never used one, so it sounds like a pretty good suggestion. So let's see how it works in today's video. Now I should point out that ChatGPT also suggested some things I would not review, like beauty products, and some tech products, and things I've already done in the past. But this was one of the 10 suggestions it gave me that I did like, so I figured it would be worth giving it a shot. So I went on Amazon and kind of looked around for waffle cone makers. There aren't a lot of them. This is one from a major brand. The price is pretty good. The reviews are pretty good. This seemed like the one to try. I unboxed it last night, and here's how that went. Right, this is the waffle cone and bowl maker. I paid $33.94 for this. The claim is that it can make crisp sugar cones and ice cream bowls within two to three minutes. Comes with a waffle bowl press and a cone roller, ideal for parties or family fun. There's my cone roller. Now the people on Amazon who like this, people say it was easy to use, easy to clean, makes cones quickly, and it's fun to use. Those who didn't like it, some people said it heated unevenly, some people said they had issues with the latch. Here's a knob from minimum to maximum, but if that's minimum, that's maximum, what's this over here? Well, this is nice the way the cord conveniently is stored underneath. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to read over the instructions, clean it off, and then get started. All right, I created their recipe for the waffle cone mix. It smells good. We'll see how it actually tastes. I've got three tablespoons right here. They say do three or four. If three is not enough, I'll go with four next time. It just finished preheating, so here we go. First test. Okay, we lift it up. They say to pour it right in the center. Again, this is three tablespoons. If it's not enough, we'll go with four next time. Gently close it, and we're off. I'm gonna check this in two minutes and see how it goes. Now, the first time, I'm kind of expecting it to not be very good, so this is kind of just my first test. Uh, hopefully, I'll get better over time. They also said to set it right between minimum and maximum when you're using it, and then adjust from there, and that's where I've got it set. The unit itself doesn't feel too hot, so that's kind of nice. I can kind of move it out of the way without burning my fingers. All right, here we go, it's been two minutes. Oh wow, that looks nice. Now they say to use the cone to lift it out of here. That's what they're kind of saying. And then you're supposed to just kind of wrap it around. They say to use a paper towel if you need to, but I don't think I really need to. Right, well, I can already tell the hole in the bottom is a little bit bigger than I want, so I certainly have to make some adjustments here. I think the two minutes worked, and it seemed like it was pretty even. All right, I'm gonna say that's, for a first try, not, not, not too bad really, but I think I can do better than this. This is also seems like a pretty small cone. This is a, more like a child-sized cone. I'm gonna put four tablespoons in next time. I think I'm gonna go the same amount of time, but I'm gonna try to practice my rolling technique. So let's keep going and I'm gonna get a cone that's perfect. Right, there it is, what do you guys think? First try, would, would you eat that? I'm gonna eat it, but I, I don't know if you guys would or not. That was just a practice cone. It's kind of like when you go bowling, you throw that first throw before you get started. That was my first throw, that doesn't count. Now we're starting the scoreboard to see how it actually comes out. Here we go, it's been preheated once again. That wasn't very long in between them. It took me longer to put the cone away than for it to preheat. So we're ready to go for the next one. Here we go. Four tablespoons this time. That looks like a lot more than the first time. Two minutes and we'll check it out. All right, it's been two minutes. Let's check this one out now. This should be much bigger. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm gonna pull some wax paper down here, lift it up with the cone mold. It has a very clothy kind of feel to it. All right, it's been about 30 seconds. Let's see, it's, this one is a little bit flimsy feeling. I'm gonna set this aside, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this was not a success either. I think I need to go a little bit longer next time on this one. It just doesn't feel like it's, it's it's kind of coming apart a little bit, but that's not a problem. I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I knew I was gonna have a couple practice rounds. This is practice round number two. I'm gonna get this right. I'm gonna, if, it, if I have to use all this batter, I'm gonna get it right. Take three. It's preheated. All right, that's about the right amount, I think. Let's close this up. I'm gonna go a little bit longer this time and see if that makes a difference. All right, it's been two and a half minutes. Let's check it out. All right, it seems like it's more cooked in the center than the outsides. I almost wonder if it needs to go longer. I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I'm gonna go 15 seconds longer, we'll see. Someone on Amazon did say they were flipping them halfway through to make it more even. A few people said they were uneven, so maybe it is uneven. 
but maybe uneven doesn't really matter when you're making a waffle cone, I don't know. All right, let's try it again. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try this out. Lifting the cone off of the cone maker. And rolling it up. It's pretty warm. They do say to use a paper towel and I didn't do that, but I didn't burn my fingers. It's hot, but I can still touch it. All right, it feels like it's hardened now. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. I think the third try is looking pretty nice. I still might go a little bit longer and see what a difference that makes, but the third try, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I think the only thing I really need to work on now is getting this hole a little bit smaller. They said you can put a marshmallow in there or some drizzle some chocolate, but I wanna see if I can get the hole even smaller. But overall, I'm getting better each time, so let's keep going. Adding the batter. Closing the unit. I'm gonna go three minutes this time and see what difference that makes. Well, it doesn't look a, a lot different. It's just more evenly cooked, I think, maybe. All right, this time I'm gonna try to make that hole not quite as open. Oh yeah, I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. It's gonna hold it there for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I think I should be perfect this time. All right, it feels like it's hardened now. All right, look at the bottom, much better. I just had the mold further away from the edge and it rolled a much tighter hole this time. So I think that's the way to go. This cone looks pretty good to me. All right, so now that I think I got my cones kind of down, I wanna try one of those bowls and see how that turns out. So they give you this bowl mold. You put it in here, you press it in a shape with this, and then you should have your waffle bowl. Should be easy enough, let's try it out. Here we go, pouring the batter. Closing the unit. We'll check back in three minutes. All right, it's been three minutes. Let's see how it looks. And it looks about as expected. I will say it doesn't seem as, as cooked on this side. Every time I've done it, this backside doesn't seem as cooked, but it, I'm still working with it though. Lift it out with this and then place it on there. And then we take the second bowl and we kind of push them together. They say without forcing. I guess I'll just hold it like this for about 30 seconds. It's, I didn't even put it in there evenly, so oh well. I'm complaining about it not cooking evenly. I didn't even put it in there evenly. All right, let's take it out of the mold here and see how it looks. All right, there it is. I, it looks pretty good. I guess I just didn't put it on there straight. But overall, it looks pretty good. I'm not as impressed with a bowl as I was with the cones, but I mean, it does work. It does work. All right, so I've got a little bit of batter left. I'm gonna just use that and make some more cones here. Hopefully I can improve my technique just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and then we will uh, wrap this thing up. I right, take the mold out and this one came out pretty good. Look, the hole is almost non-existent. Every time I do this, I'm getting that hole a little bit smaller. I'm gonna get to the point where there's no hole at all. Almost there now. I think this one came out pretty good. Look at this. Would you eat that? I would certainly eat that. In fact, I'm probably going to eat that in a little bit. All right, this is the last batch before my batter is all gone. So I'm gonna make one more and then we're gonna taste them and then wrap this thing up. And looking good, looking good. Lift it up. All right, it is hardened. Let's take a look. All right, almost no hole. It looks beautiful. It came out perfectly. Another thing I should also point out before I taste these is that I never used any cooking spray whatsoever and the nonstick service worked perfectly. So that's kind of nice in that respect. But now it's time for the taste test. All right, here they all are in order that I made them. This was the first one, it was kind of small, but it came out okay, all the hole was gigantic. The second one I used more batter and it didn't seem, and I didn't increase the cook time and you can tell it didn't turn out, it wasn't completely cooked. But the third one I was starting to get it down okay. The hole was still there, but I had the cook time right. And then I was just at this point tweaking it. So I kind of got better and better each time. So I think these last three are really nice. I even upped the, uh, the time just a little bit. The bowl I think came out okay. Although this isn't really what I'd probably get it for. Although I think the bowl came out perfectly fine. And this is exactly how much I made with the, their entire recipe. So I got six cones and a bowl out of it. I also never had to really stop and let it warm up. Cause it was by the time I took the cone out it was already ready for the next one. So you can kind of make them one after another without stopping. All right, just filling this with some ice cream here. But it is sturdy enough that I can kind of pound this ice cream in there and it's not breaking, so that's good. Let me do a quick taste test before I do it with ice cream, just by itself. I'll take a bite of the bowl and see how that tastes. Mmm. It tastes like a cinnamon waffle. It's very good. Mmm. I'm gonna eat the bowl by itself. Final product. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good to me. Now it's time for the taste test.
The bit and cone did not crack in a bunch of pieces, so it, it seems like it's maintaining its shape pretty well, as you would hope with the waffle cone. Well, it's not leaking my eyeball, that's a good thing. All right, so taste-wise, it's very good. That's a pretty good recipe, but also the texture of these are much better than you find with commercial cones. Those are a little bit more crunchy and, and hard. The ones that I made here are much lighter and crispier. I actually really liked it. I felt like the machine was pretty forgiving. Like uh, even the ones that didn't turn out great are still edible. So I think that it's kind of hard to really mess it up. And with that said, the more you use it, the better you get at it. So it only takes a couple tries before uh, you should have it down. So if you are a purist and you like to make your own ice cream, this will be a great addition to your arsenal so you can make your own cones as well. I think that most people that try these cones will like them better than the ones you can buy in the store. Shout out to ChatGPT for suggesting this video. But if you've used a product like this, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.